surface areas and volumes uh, this is the topic conversion of solid from one shape to another so the only remaining topic is conversion of solid from one shape to another some concept you want to understand so look at one candle here uh, when you heat this candle it will become liquid right when you heat a candle it will become liquid so using that liquid if you make some other shape suppose some candle in the shape of animal or some other uh, with some other uh, cylindrical shape with a, a big diameter so if you heat one candle and recast into some other candle with the same liquid the volume will be remain unchanged the volume will be remain unchanged not only in the case of a, uh, the candle suppose you take a uh, suppose you take a iron suppose an iron cylinder iron cylinder suppose you melt it the iron will become liquid form and if you put if you uh, pour that liquid into some cubical uh, box so you will get some cube, cuboid with the same liquid so again the volume will be remain same the volume will be same that's idea for some other example suppose this vessel have full of water in the cylinder suppose you pour this full water into some other cubical box or something suppose you pour this full water in the cylinder this, this cylinder is full of water to this box this cuboid suppose the water level comes up to this much so the volume of the uh, cuboid up to this height to this height will be same as the volume of the cylinder so when you uh, recast some uh, 3d figure the volume will be remain unchanged and that, that's the point the volume will be remain unchanged so using that uh, concept we, there are different ch chances one more question you look suppose there are two spheres one is radius 2 cm one, one is radius 3 cm okay suppose you uh, melt these two spheres suppose they are made with gold or some other uh, copper or something so if you melt this it will become liquid and then you recast into some other uh, sphere of big radius so the volume will be the volume of the large one will be suppose this is volume one this is volume two the this volume of the big one will be v1 plus v2 suppose we use only the liquid uh, we got by melting v1 and v2 so the, the if you if you melt these two spheres of gold and if you recast into some other sphere of big size the volume will be the volume of the new one will be sum of the volumes of these two two spheres so that that's a concept here i shall explain the solved problems in the test book first then we will move to uh, some exercise question so look at first question is simple one a cone of height 24 cm and the radius of base 6 cm is made up of modeling clay okay a child reshapes it in the form of a sphere find the radius of the sphere so this is also a same situation some cone made by modeling a clay so if you reshape it the volume will be remain unchanged right if you reshape one uh, one 3d shape uh, to some other shape the volume will be remain unchanged that's the concept here so the measures of the cones are given that is the height and base radius that is h and r of the cone is given and it is reshaped a child is reshaped this cone into some sphere we want to find the radius of the sphere so volume of the sphere will be same as the volume of the cone so from the given values of the cone we can calculate the volume of the cone that volume will be same for the sphere so doing some reverse step we can calculate the radius of the uh, sphere you can we can discuss here volume of the cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h right 1 by 3 pi r square h so 1 by 3 into pi into 
r square here r square is uh, r base radius is 6 so 6 into 6 into h height is 24 so this will be the volume actually in similar questions you don't have to simplify for the final volume because here we don't want to find the volume question is to only to find the radius so when you recast to some other shape the division will come so better you keep like this don't go for simplification then because there will be some chance to cancel the numbers you can see here so this is the volume 1 by 3 into pi into 6 into 6 into 24 so this will be the same the volume of the sphere so in the next step you can write uh, the volume of the clay in the form of the cone and the sphere remains the same we have volume of this volume of the sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube that is equal to the volume of the cone that is written here 1 by 3 into pi into 6 into 6 into 24 so you look here the, this is in this equation only r is variable so i think we can calculate r from this equation so pi can be cancelled 1 by 3 can be cancelled and this 4 and 24 can be cancelled 6 will come and this uh, this remaining number you can take to right side and if you simplify this you will get to 3 into 3 into 24 the, how, how it is done is the 4 is taken to right side and that is written 2 into 2 and uh, uh, 2 you can cut with 6 3 times and another 2 by the next 6 you will get again 3 so 3 into 3 into 24 will come by simplifying this r cube will be 3 into 3 into 24 so uh, 24 can be written as 3 into 8 3 into 8 so 3 into 3 into 3 into 8 is 2 cube 8 is 2 cube so to find the cube root you want to make some uh, adjustment like this otherwise it, it will be difficult you know how to find the cube root by prime factorization method right so suppose you get a number 64 uh, 64 something how to find the cube root to find the cube root you do the prime factorization suppose uh, suppose we do 27 so we'll get to 3 into uh, 3 into 3 into 3 the prime factorization of 27 is equal to 3 cube so cube root of 27 will be 3 uh, th that's the idea so here uh, when, when you simplify uh, the r cube similar similar steps will come in the coming problem so so you try to make as the product of cubes as the product of cubes then you can simply take the cube root okay so here 6 into 6 uh, we cut by this 2 into 2 so we'll get a 3 into 3 then 24 we can, can be written as 3 into 8 3 into 8 so 1 3 with these 3 into 3 will make a 3 cube and 8 we can write as 2 cube so that is actually mean 3 into 2 r cube 3 into 2 r cube that is r cube r cube is equal to 3 into 2 r cube so r will be equal to 3 into 2 that is 6 so we got the radius radius of the sphere as 6 centimeter 6 centimeter okay so th this is the first problem i hope it is clear so the here concept is when you melt uh, here it is not melting here we are uh, reshaping it is a, a cone made by modeling a clay so we can reshape it so if you reshape it uh, to some sphere the volume will be remain unchanged so we can write volume of this sphere is equal to volume of the cone the for cone the radius and heights are given you substitute here and uh, then you can calculate for the r radius of the sphere okay this is first example proved in at solved in textbook i hope the answer is clear if you like this video please don't forget to press the like button and also share this video to your friends to get more videos like this of the same chapter or other chapters of class 10 cbsc mathematics Please check in the description of this video. I have given the links to playlist of other chapters and this chapter in the description. In the next videos, we will discuss some of very important questions from the same topic, conversion of solids from one shape to another. Until then, see you. Bye.